Oh, hold on. Okay, so um, I've just been watching Keith Pitt on Parliament and oh my fucking God, like I am so livid with the fucking bullshit that he is spouting. Like I had to take notes because there was just so much, so much of what he said that just, oh, I'm so angry right now. Um, right, so let's get into this. Just like a regular FPOS, all right? So regular FPOSs. Do they decline at Aldi, Woolworths, petrol stations when there's sufficient money in the account? Yet, for whatever reason, oh no, we're not going to work today. We're just going to decline. No, they fucking don't, Keith. No, they fucking don't. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, direct debits. Not every company will allow you to do direct debits from your injury card. So then you're having to pay your usual cash portion to then pay those bills. Leaves you left with less cash. And if you're someone like me who has four kids by myself and relies heavily on eBay, Facebook buy, swap, sell, uh, garage sales, like every piece of furniture in my goddamn house is secondhand. The only new thing I have is my fridge and my goddamn washing machine because I was able to bloody get a Nils loan for that. Like, oh, oh. So he raves on about um, consultation. There were 188 meetings throughout, throughout the Hink Hinkler electorate um, uh, 19 of which were with community members. What community members, Keith? The ones that you cherry-picked because you knew that they were pro-card? Because there certainly wasn't any bloody advertising done about it. There wasn't any Facebook post or, or um, like, newspaper papers are obsolete these days. Nobody fucking buys a newspaper. So, hey, you might have run a tiny little ad down the bottom corner of the news mail or the courier mail, but nobody fucking saw it. Nobody fucking saw it. You claim that there's been all this consultation and everybody in the community is so pro-card, yet when you were confronted, I have done this myself, I confronted you myself before I'd even really had any major dramas with the card and you blatantly ignored me, fogged me off and told me to go to the shop front, go see um, Centrelink, they can help you out. No, they can't, Keith. No, they can't. I'm just... Oh, I'm shaking. I'm so fucking angry right now. So fucking angry. Like, this is the man that is supposed to represent us. He's failed in every single parliamentary government position he's ever had. And I tell you what, he's fucking failing now. But you tell he's a fucking good actor, mate. He is a good actor. Because he can come up and say all of this stuff. And yeah, there might be a handful of people in the community that actually support him. But he knows who they are. He cherry picks them for everything. And like, he's telling uh, Senator Chrisham, Come to our electorate. We will, we will, uh, what were his words? We will co coordinate a meeting with you to speak to the people affected by this card. So what, it's not good enough for you to cherry pick people for your own shit. Now you want to cherry pick the people that are allowed to speak to a different senator about the issues? Like, oh, oh. It's not a silver bullet. It won't fix, um, fix all problems. It fixes nothing. It fixes nothing. There's drug dealers across the road fucking doing their deals every day. Pip, yeah, food. There has been an uptake in the sale of food. Do you want to know why, Keith? People are buying food and trading it for drugs or cash. People are buying food because they can't pay their goddamn rent in share house accommodations because they don't have access to cash. Oh. Oh. Yep, I've covered that. Facebook activists. Facebook activists. I'm not sure what much was said after the, the, his last line, but I had to turn it off because it just... Oh. He said something along the lines of um, that uh, p encouraging people to go to Facebook activists to, to share their problems is helping no one. Keith, these people are a fucking godsend. You have no idea the dark hole that some of these people have been put in because of your goddamn policy. You did this to people, Keith. People have killed themselves. They've attempted suicide. They've become homeless. This isn't fucking teething problems, Keith. You are screwing with people's lives. You are destroying their lives. <laughs> and what? What for, Keith? What for? You think it's going to fix the, the unemployment rate? You, you think that jobs are magically going to appear out of the sky because you will it to be so? Like, you know, I would not 
make it through all the bullying and the shit I have copped from the times I've spoken out through the media about this card if it wasn't for the people that you call Facebook fucking activists. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, baby. <laughs> like, I'm just, oh, I'm blown away that someone can be so goddamn willfully ignorant. Carries on like he's heard nothing but praise. That's fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. I know for a fact you have been confronted multiple times about the heartache and the issues that people are having with this card and you heartlessly turn them away. Not your problem. Go see the shop front. Go talk to Centrelink. It's not good enough, Keith. It is not fucking good enough. What else have we got here? Sorry, I'm just, I'm really fucking angry. Uh. Oh, he talks about how it's been an inconvenience for some people that have been put on the card. Inconvenience? How can you call never knowing if your bills are going to be paid an inconvenience? Pre-card. People would have that set up. It would all be looked after. The money would be gone before they even realised they'd been paid. And now people aren't spending money from their cashless card for days because they need to check to make sure that their bills have actually come out. And if they haven't come out, they then need to use their cash portion to do that. I know this. I've had to do it myself. Like, and then you talk about intergenerational welfare and you talk about all of these uh, bloody statistics and crap like that. What is the actual number though, Keith? You talk about these percentages. What is the actual number? Is it like the ARIMA report where when it got broken down, it was eight people, eight fucking people that said that they drank less? And how many of those never drank at all? You know, the, the way that the, 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 the way it was uh, put together and executed, it's been debunked. Even the Governor General says it's fucking bullshit. Oh, inconvenience. What about the children, Keith? What about the children? My kids don't get pocket money anymore because I need to use the cash portion to pay for bills that India refuses to pay. We went to a community goddamn festival a couple of weekends ago. I had $45 on my India card. It was a cash only event. The only reason we went is because my daughter was performing as part of a mass choir. The note that came home from school said it was a free event. So I went. I was then absolutely demoralized when I had to go up to the lady at the gate and explain to her that sorry I don't have the five dollars to pay for us to get in like it was humiliating and thank Christ she was a nice enough person to not push it and just say it's okay honey you can go in but then but then we had to sit there waiting for my daughter to perform and all my other kids are watching all, of, all the kids going on the jumping castles and the dodging cars, getting their face painted, rock climbing, like, and they couldn't do any of it. They didn't understand. They didn't understand that because my money has been quarantined and it is my goddamn money, don't any of you freaking it's taxpayers' money, fucking idiots start, okay? Read the legislation. <laughs> It was all tied up in injury. So I had to sit there and try to comfort my children and try to help them to understand why they were being excluded from a community event. I hit off to the side and I bawled my fucking eyes out. And if it wasn't for my best friend's mother <laughs> slipping me $20 to help me out, my kids wouldn't have even been able to get anything to eat. Like... <laughs> This is what you're doing to people, Keith. And this might seem like something trivial, trivial to you. But this is my kids. This is my kids. I don't want them to feel excluded because I don't have access to cash. I, it's fucking unfair. What have they ever done? For that matter, what the fuck have I ever done? You know, like, you can't bring out a policy like this and just say, you're under 36, you're on Centrelink, so you're going to get it. And then when people mention that there's bullying online and, and there's stigma attached to it, you're just like, what? No, this is great. Fuck off, Keith. Fuck off. Like, oh. <laughs> oh. I read a letter to you in the news mail 
a couple of weeks ago. I hope to Christ you read it. Highly doubt you did, but the invitation still stands. If you want to find out about the stigma and the bullying and the mental fucking anguish attached to this card, come to my goddamn house. Hmm? I know you've got my email. Send me an email. Ask for my address. I'll give it to you because this is shit. This is shit. I've got screenshot after screenshot after screenshot of all the horrible, nasty and disgusting things people have said to me just because I'm a single parent on the single parent pension. This is what you're doing to people, Keith. This is what you're doing. And then you're lying about it. You are cherry picking shit and lying about it. Certain percentage drop in a youth unemployment in Hinkler. Yet you use the figures from the entire fucking district. Here's the district. Here's Hinkler. Fuck you, Keith. Fuck you.